now it's highlighting time. She's got nice, clean, fresh brows, so we're gonna use the highlighter right underneath the brow line, straight across. It doesn't matter that I got a little bit thick there because we're just gonna blend it in. And we're gonna use this smudge brush. I always like to squeeze the tip to make sure it's nice and flat. We're gonna hold the brow nice and tight and wand the brush back and forth in a windshield wiping motion. Right up to the hairline. This is gonna conceal any perfections if you have them. It also lifts the brow and gives it a little extra pop. Remember just to do it right up to the hairline, not actually touching the hair. And we're gonna blend in down into the lid. This gives the brow a nice crisp look. It also makes the brows look fuller. So underneath here she has, a, not I, would, I wouldn't say holes, but they're not completely connected. So when you use the highlighter pencil, it conceals those areas and it cam camouflages any areas that we need to perfect with the powder. And then just blend down into the lid. The key to everything is blending. You wanna make sure to always use the brush flat. Next, we're gonna use the brown powder on her. We're gonna use the angle brush and we're just gonna tap it flat, no strokes. And you always wanna do little tiny baby, baby taps. You can tap it on your hand if you need to, see how soft that is. If you go harder, you're gonna get way too much product. And we always, I always like to tell everyone less is more. If it's too dark, you can flip it over to the spoolie side and brush it out and it softens the powder. So now I'm just gonna soften it a little bit on my hand because I have too much. And now we're gonna go right inside of the line and it's all little, little strokes. I'm gonna follow the top of her brow all the way across. Bring it out to the outer corner and then turn with the brow and bring it down. Her brow is a little bit shorter, so we're gonna fake it. We're gonna add a little extra powder and give her a tail to make it look like it frames her eye a little more. And you can just keep going over it until you get your line nice and perfect. I like to do little strokes so it's not too harsh and not too heavy. And then I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna use the brush flat and brush it up, little strokes again. So again, in between, you just do little taps. I'm gonna go right inside where the hair meets the concealer, highlighter pencil, where the little line is. So I've basically created her own personal outline and that's what gets the brow so perfect looking. So now we're gonna do this side, do a little tap. We'll go right inside that line, go straight across. Lightly brush it up. Follow the top of the brow. Remember less is more. So underneath here, we're gonna make this look like it connects a little bit better. We're gonna turn, and we're gonna bring this little tail down to give it more, more shape. Now you guys, this is all art. There's no perfect way. We just try to do our best to make it look natural and full and soft. I like to get up and move around the client to see all angles, to see if there's any spots that I missed. So now I'm standing in front of her and I'm just peeking in to see if there's any little marks. They look pretty awesome. And remember, everything's all about blending. Once it's blended, you're good to go. We don't need to fix her, but I'm gonna show you a way where you can give her a little bit more definition if you want to. We're gonna take the highlighter pencil again, and we're gonna go right in the arch area on both sides. So we've already highlighted her, filled her in, and now we're highlighting again. But we're only gonna do it in the arch to get, make it even more perfect. Not every client is gonna want this look, 
but Arika is a makeup artist and she loves the glam, so we're giving her some extra glam. We just gave her a little extra pop. Do the same thing over here. Now I use the highlighter on everyone, no matter where they're going, if they're going to the gym. If you blend it in enough, you're not gonna be able to tell and it's just gonna make you look awake. Um, but if you're going out, you can add more like I just did, just to give it a little bit more of a glammed up, glammed up look. Now, if you guys have noticed, I haven't done highlighter on top. A lot of times makeup artists will put this highlighter pencil on top. I don't do that, but you can use the brush to go around and use it kind of as an eraser to perfect your line. Just remember, do not use a lighter color on top because then it's gonna create a halo. We want bright underneath to lift and her skin color on top. You can also bring it all around the corner and go down the tail just to make it a little sharper if you need. And there you go. She's beautiful. So I just got my brows done today um, for probably like the fifth time. But at the very beginning when I first came to Kelly Baker Brows, my eyebrows were like so tore up. They were like horrible. I actually never got them done like at all from anyone. And Kelly was like, just come in. And I was like, okay, fine. I really wanted to, but I just never had the time to just, I don't know. I just, we just never scheduled it. And I got them done and it was like a life changing experience. My eyebrows were really over tweezed and really ugly and just like everywhere. And then I grew them out because she told me to for like a long time. So then they got really hairy and then she shaped them and they were amazing. And then after that, ever since then, even when I didn't have any filler, like eyebrow filler in, um, I had really nice brows. And now they're just super amazing because I just got them done. And today we did a little bit more of a glam look um, with the highlighter pencil. This is my favorite one. The one that I have now is like really short. So I got another one but this is like amazing and I can't live without it.